Josh. Josh, go home, Josh. Josh, I've been chasing Josh around town for 30 minutes. Josh, don't do it, Josh. Josh, don't. Oh, shit. Josh, run, Josh. Run, Josh. Run, Josh. Oh, shit. a witness and testimony to this. What's your name, mister? I need this for my court. Well, on, he got the footage. It's on his phone right well, there. It's 2021, officer. Why are you being mean to me? I'm the one that's the victim. I'm the one that's got shot at. No, you're the one that yelled at me and said, don't six, call six, nine, eight. I don't have a warrant, mister. No. The witness is a suspect. These officers are corrupt. The syndicate pays out police officers to cover up their attempted murders. And their actualized murders and every evil thing they do. After the man shot me, I was arrested by the corrupt officer Snowden. And they lied on the police report and said that the incident happened with the attempted murder at 1,602 hours. That's 4 by me calling you mister. I'm not calling you pig or popo or anything disrespectful. I'm calling you uh, mister. I can call you mister. It's freedom of speech. Really, the incident happened well, at 2.58 p.m. Well, mister, if I find out that you guys aren't doing your job and your due diligence, which means that I will the police did that, lied on the report, so there would be no corrupt. camera evidence. At this time, I didn't know that Officer Snowden, the corrupt cop, the pig of a man, he was running my name to have an excuse to arrest me for a harmless homeless trespass warrant that was set up a day prior by other corrupt police officers. Somebody shot a bullet and I missed the footage. I missed the footage. They shot at me. I know who they are. They were a gangster. They shot a bullet at me and the bullet missed me by like six inches and hit right here. We'll get forensics. I'm calling 911. I'm out. When, when it comes, comes to new age, age crime syndicates, they are well funded and they pay out the police to protect their murderous atrocities. Hi, I just... It's going alright. Are you the... Are you the officer involved? Yeah, I'm the supervisor here. Oh, okay. Hello, mister. So, I, I contacted the chief of police. Did the chief of police send you guys out here? Well, yeah, more or less. Uh, he did personally, but I heard that uh, you've been dissatisfied with your investigation. There's been, uh, I guess, numerous calls, emails, and so forth. And I wanted to see if we could get you some help. What kind of help? Well, some help where uh, kind of dealing with the situation that you are now. No, I'm fine with my situation. I'm creating a documentary, Homeless Across America, and this is part of it. And then, you know, this this whole thing happened in the middle of me just shooting my documentary. So, you know, living like this is a part of it. I just want to make sure that I'm able to have a sort of you know, due diligence with justice. I want the cell phone records to be subpoenaed from the suspect that's in custody right now because that'll link link the dots to all the people that are involved. And Detective Fisher was supposed to be investigating the other aspects of that, including the man who pulled out a knife on me the night prior, which I have charges against him, and I was finding out if he was in custody, and I haven't got a call back and nobody calls me. So I went you know, to a sort of just, I just, I thought that I would contact people that have authority to give me the checks and balances. You know what I mean? Now is your, is your biggest thing about getting your suspect or person that assaulted you in custody so you can uh, go to court? If you're the victim, you'd be able to go to court on that case. I know I want to go to court. My court's not till April 20th. My biggest, my biggest sort of thing that I want to do, mister, is I want to make sure that all those that are involved, that that cell phone record that could be subpoenaed, that cell phone record, that gives the trail 
Last night, somebody hacked into my bank account, two of them. I have evidence of that, that I need to send the detective and tried to steal all of my money. So I'd have no money. I've been fundraising via social media for my documentary and I have transfers that are coming through. And I have the bank and I told them that I was a victim of attempted murder. And I need the evidence of their due diligence of that attempted fraud and transference of my money. Whatever they find of the trace of the people that are involved in that from the trail. I need that because I'm going to subpoena that and involve that in court. And I know that those people that did that last night, just like the guy that pulled out the knife, the subpoena records or the subpoenaing of the cell phone records from the suspect in custody right now, that will leak the trail. And I feel that Detective Fisher doesn't want to do that because I think it, com it will come back to a paid out involving with these people somehow with the precinct. Yeah. Are you dissatisfied with the conditions? Would you like me to improve? Pardon me? Would you like the homeless conditions to improve with your documentary? Well, the homeless situation is a part of a civil rights movement to advocate to end the hate, the prejudiceness, the sort of bigotry that comes with homeless, the dehumanization. So it's a sacrifice like Jesus did on the cross. And through my sacrifice, I'm able to show by sort of absorbing the pain, the suffering and getting it on footage. And then I cut it into a piece that shows, you know, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what class you are. It doesn't matter what color you are. It doesn't matter what race you are. That once you become to the least of the less fortunate, in today's America, homeless, then society looks at you as if you're less than. And that's what I want to invoke in them. And how can you do that? Well, we've got uh, counselors and people that specialize in homelessness. Okay? I don't necessarily specialize in, I'm more of a I can get you in touch with people that will help you, people that may be able to answer some of your questions. Okay, we've got people we can call out. Okay, here they can they can talk to you and probably help you a little bit more than I can. What well, I can do, I can go ahead and follow up on your the criminal investigation. Okay. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm dissatisfied with the fact that he won't subpoena the suspect's cell phone records cell phone. and the witness that took the footage. Right. He is, I believe, is a suspect as well. And there's another witness in the car that took the footage of the evidence of the man that shot me. I don't need to speak with mobile crisis. I'm fine. Like I'm, I have a bachelor degree. I'm very well educated. This is the third film that I'm making. And you know, the homelessness part of my documentary is a civil rights movement. To, pardon me? It'll help us cross the T's and dot the I's. That way when people start to question you, we can say that we went through this and no, it's not crazy. I'm not crazy, mister. That's what I'm saying. I don't need to speak with... I don't want to speak with the crisis department. I don't need to. It's, it's, this is a part of my documentary. I'm a prior veteran. I've served this country. I went to survival school. So, you know, if I, if I don't get a finalization of homelessness in my documentary through the whole United States, that was the point of it. I've been working on this for a year and a half. Then I'm not able to showcase what it's like in every city. 
in America, there's more than Nashville. There's LA, there's New York, there's Florida, there's Orlando. I don't want to speak to the crisis. I'm fine. I, I want to speak about the detective. Okay. So, but I, I need to grab some water really quickly. Yeah, I just want to get water. I'm thirsty. I want to get some water. Now, at this point, I knew that they were here because I called the chief of police, which was newly reenacted by a corruption scandal because the will of the people demanded to the mayor, John Cooper, about this. And I, like another one of them in my own particular circumstance and scenario involved with police corruption and not a follow through with an upgraded aspect of a detective department, I thought, you know, I'm gonna call the mayor, John Cooper, and initially, he helped. Oh my God, people. I had to lock the gate. So, I'm just getting some water. But, you know, I can give you my phone number, and if they, uh, if the crisis team wants to speak to me, then they can call me and I can talk to them that way. They are been on my phone, I do a lot of marketing. No, I've been on the phone. I, I've been here. Oh my gosh, they're coming in here, people. I think they're coming in here. What's up? Okay, bro. If I want to sit here and bump your hand, bump my hand in. What's up, bro? I'm going to step back. Oh, what? Get your ass cut up then. What's up? You going to cut me? I'll I beat your ass, really. <coughs> Why? Big Indian, dog. What's up? Get cut up. I'll scrap your ass. I said, what's up? Respect me. I don't owe you I don't have to. Here. I don't owe you nothing either. Respect me. That means a man. You going to shank me? And, and show love. That's what a person going to do. I don't have to. You ain't got nothing I want. What I ain't gonna give you anything if you wanted it. I bet you wouldn't. How you feel? How? Step back, bro. How you feel? Step back. Oh, you are? You better put that knife away. I ain't a faggot, bro, but that's attempted murder. That's prison time. Back up, bro. Goodbye. Goodbye. You ain't gonna stick nobody because I'll prosecute you to the full extent of the law. I ain't moving out of Nashville, bro. I belong here. All right, then, you know, I ain't gay, bro. You ain't smashing shit, bro. You ain't smashing shit. You see that, people? This is what I gotta deal with. This is straight up what I gotta deal with. You know what I mean? So, I just wanted you guys to see that. That's the best evidence I have so far. So I'm not gonna upload it right now because I'm trying to get the enemy to lead me in a direction and they fucking with me. But, you know, that guy pulled out a knife. I told him to step back, I got fucking mace. He said he don't care about that. Let's see if he can shank me blind. I don't give a fuck, bro. So, for those of you that think I'm crazy, and I'm being stalked, this or that, that's the third time somebody's pulled a knife out on me. It's the sixth time somebody's pulled out a weapon. Three other times prior was guns. Somebody shot bullets when I was sleeping here. There is definitely, definitely gang stalking going on. You're watching Homeless Across America.
I'm out. Cut speedy. You're saying that I'm you corrupt. Are a corrupt detective. Okay, Why if you believe that, that, if okay, you believe that, that then you need wrong. to go prove above. Prove me wrong and subpoena the suspect phone record. All right, well, I'm going to end this conversation. Thank you for calling. Why won't you subpoena the suspect phone record? Thank you for calling, Brandon. Why won't you subpoena the suspect phone record? Brandon. Brandon. The suspect is going to be arrested. Okay, I'm explaining that to you. Why won't you subpoena his phone record? I've done investigation. No, you haven't. Subpoena his phone record. Would you like to speak to my supervisor? Yeah, I'm going to speak to the attorney general. Okay, you called him. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you. My friend, is he okay? Is he bueno? Is he bueno or is he? Shit. He's still there. That's silly. People, he's coming back to life. More water. Okay, his hands moving. See that shit, people? Look his eyes. Amigo! Amigo! You gotta move it. That's what you gotta do. You gotta get them moving. I mean, not too much. Don't do too much. Just bring them back to life. Keep the spirit there. That's what you do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, amigo. I'm sorry. Amigo? I'm sorry. You you passed out, amigo? brother. This? Ooh. In there, amigo. That's for you. Okay? You. No corchinos. No corchinos. Try to steal it from me. Alright? Nada más hay que retirarlo del lugar. Ya si requieren la asistencia médica, se, en breve lo pedimos la asistencia médica. Sí, ¿Usted dónde es, amigo? Sí, uh, el nombre es Brandon. Uh, just mi documentarian. Oh, it's. I got it in Mexico City. I, uh, right now, Policiano America, no bueno. So, me, no Policiano. But I wear this because. I don't like yeah, bad police, Yana. Me? Maybe. Me, veteran. Air Force. Okay. See, see. Yeah. Random, yeah. Hey, see, see. see. So anyway, we're going to go, people. We don't want to get arrested. We're going to get our ID pulled. But, you know, hopefully, let's say a prayer. Dear Lord, please bless this man right here. Please allow him to just, you know... With your grace, come fully to back to life, and please allow him to stop bubbling in his mouth and have that reverse. Please, Lord, bless this man of this footage that we got, and hope that one day, you know, he'll come back and meet us, and we can give him some royalties from the film so he doesn't have to look this way anymore. Please bless the campaign. Please bless this man. Please allow him to survive. Please allow the police to save his life by calling the ambulance. Amen. Okay, we gotta get out of here.
You're watching Home is Where the Heart Leads, Act 2, Part 1, Homeless, in Selena Cruz, Mexico. There's homeless everywhere, people, and that could have been you, you know? But I'm just wondering where the ambulance is. They must not have ambulances here. I don't think they have ambulances, so, you know, we're just going to go. We're going to get some coffee, and we're just going to... I you know, hope that that guy will be taken care of. Hola amigos, como estas? <laughs> Cakes. Cakes, look at this. Exquisite, exquisite. Anyway. I'm out, I'm out. Damn, another one. Look you guys. This is turning into an epidemic here in Mexico. I can't believe this shit. It's not the same guy. It's not the same guy, it's a different guy. I walked around Selena Cruz downtown for over an hour and decided to go back and check on Amigo to see if he was okay or still there. Or if the ambulance came. Shit. He's still there. They didn't call the ambulance. He needs an IV and needs to go to the hospital. We're gonna get water. Dude. Just put it by him when he wakes up. Hola, amiga. We're getting this. We're getting this. We're getting that. It's too hot. The police said that they didn't call the ambulance. He needs a, what he needs is one of them IV slams like you go at the hospital. Hola, amiga. How much? Uh, bulldog, bulldog. Watch out, watch out, bulldog. You gotta just buy someone some water. Even if they're a stranger, they just couldn't do anything. So we're going to. No ambulance, no nothing. Alright, here we go. We got our dogs. People everywhere. Dogs. We're gonna just give them water. You know what I mean? So, what we're gonna do, people? Give them some pesos. I mean, but I don't know, we don't we can't really give them pesos. Just give them a little water. I'm just gonna pour a little on him. Just don't get on him. Just to cool him down a little. See, just to cool him down. I think he's alive. And then we'll just put, see, look, it works. I'll just put this shit right here. This people. Did it. Did it, people. He'll wake up, he'll survive. He'll survive. He'll survive. We already did the prayer. Amy. Oh, amigo. So, yeah. Oh, there's our dogs. Look at all of them. All our dogs. Please. Why we get this footage? We're journalists. We're Walter Cronkite. I mean, I'm forward. I walked a couple blocks down, away from him, and had an epiphany and thought, I need to go back and I need to cool his body. Now, where's the water bottle? You know, we've been nursing this guy ever since the Policiano. You know what I mean? Been nursing. See, we got another water. Our old water bottles. Back to life. People, he's coming back to life. See his hands moving. See that shit, people? Looks high. Amigo! Amigo! Doing a lot better 
scared than he was more earlier. When we saw the police, the police doing a lot better. Amigo! We're resuscitating you, amigo! We did it! We got him! Alright, amigo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, amigo. I'm sorry. Amigo? I'm sorry. You, you passed out, brother. You passed out. You alive, amigo? Hey, amigo? Amigo? This? There, That's for you, okay? You. No corchinos. No corchinos. Try to steal it from you. Alright. We successfully with that. Alright, hasta mañana, amigo. Hasta mañana. Got him. He's alive, people. He's back alive. Took multiple occurrences. You know what I mean? Got the blood popping. He's back alive. Everybody just stands around. Stands around and watches. You know what I mean? Nobody cares classically. Except for Cortino. You be careful, amigo. Cortino, Sandy. Give him a water bottle, amigo. Get him aqua. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Cortino, Cortino. Everybody just standing around. Nobody doing nothing. Let the guy die. First aid, first aid. Playing video games. Pop the money in the video games. They all see it. They all see it. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Porcino, porcino, porcino. I'm out. Of here. That's speeding. Almost countryless. Resilient. Alright, people. We can't sleep at the sphere tonight because there's too much security, so we're going to our backup spot this is day three sleeping on the streets in guatemala city so i already think that some of you guys saw when i showed where we sleep during the day so we're pretty much sleeping at the statue over there i believe i showed you guys that shit in the day but it's kind of lit up you know what i mean you guys can see kind of cool at night but we're gonna sleep there right now it gets a little bit cold in Guatemala City so you know we're just gonna sleep here it's like 3 a.m. you know what I mean you can only walk around so much and then you just you, know, you just get so tired there's not much people here, but this is where we're going to sleep tonight. You know what I mean, we got our bag and everything on us, so we're just we're just going to lay down right here. Remember I showed you guys those statues and shit. So. You know, we're already pretty much ready. We're just gonna lay down and pass out, people. Ugh, it's kind of well lit, you know, so it's not like darks. I mean, it's dark, but at least, you know, we're not gonna get mugged. We're just, we're gonna sleep here, people. So, you know, it's not too bad. I mean, the concrete, you always kind of want to check around you. Make sure there ain't anybody creeping around and shit. You know what I mean? That's what we do. It's pretty safe though, so, you know, we're just gonna pass out, <sighs> start the day again tomorrow. You know I mean? Good night, America. Good night, Guatemala City. Good night, world. I'm out.
so we're just gonna sleep here. Good night, America. Good night, Guatemala City. Good night, world. I'm tired. Sleeping on the streets isn't the best thing. Your contributions help me to be able to have a rest from the American nightmare I live. I'm countryless. You're watching home is where the heart leads. Thank you for your support. Family, this is Venezuela. I need you to help, please. My family, I'm from Venezuela. I need you to help. This is our rent money for a day. Hello, amigo. Oh my God, thank you, my friend. Family private of the Sur America, Venezuela. Oh, Venezuelan backpack. Sigh. Yeah. Blue, red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is dark. Thank you, my friend. No worries. Yeah. No worries. God bless you. Thank you, too. Thank you. may laugh but I'm trying to break stereotypes here I consider this unhearable exit as if I was deaf but at the same time this is how I had to raise money through most of the parts of Florida on my Homeless Across America tour I used a computer at Walmart and was able to shoot the footage on that computer and hack it this will be an animation in the future I will reenact me going around all of Florida Unhearable. Hello, Facebook. I got this big. It hides my head. My head's healing, though, from the disaster that happened. This is a log. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia right now. And there was attempted homicide on my life in Atmore, Alabama. I was headed to church and I was getting ready to cross the street and then I don't remember anything anymore. 
I was hit by a car head on. I have scars all over my body. It's a miracle I can walk. The Heavenly Father, the Lord Almighty, has blessed me with, you know, just not being paraplegic. So, you know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, an injury attorney or some sort of a situation where I can just have some due diligence, you know, and justice because, you know, it's weird. I don't remember the whole situation. I don't remember anything. I woke up in an ambulance because I was in a coma. They couldn't wake me up at the first hospital in Atmore, Alabama. Atmore's hospitalization system isn't prescribed, isn't constituated, isn't conscribed for head trauma. So they sent me to Mobile, Alabama in an ambulance at the hospital. There they stitched me up. When I woke up, it was spinning. Kind of like when your equilibrium was off in your ears and it's the whole room just spins around and around like you're on a merry-go-round, but worse. 10 times, 10 times, 10 times worse. So, you know, I'm recovering. I have, you know, these bandages. As you can see, I'm right here. I carry this pillow around with me everywhere. Harley's, I think. This is the museum. Harley Davidson. We are getting live footage from Milwaukee, Wisconsin of the Harley Davidson Museum. We've got all sorts of great stuff here. Over here, see that? We're gonna get closer to that Harley Davidson statue. We've got for our POWs. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna get all sorts of footage so you guys can see what's going on at the Harley Davidson Museum. It's grand. It's in Milwaukee and it's full of cool, cool stuff. This is Brandon James Miller reporting live from the Harley Davidson Museum in Milwaukee. Wisconsin. Back to almost in Mexico evading the canines. Now you know I'm up here, but they gotta get through here, people. I'll see. They gotta get up through here. Across the border. Yeah. 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 
show our our <laughs> veteran ID. That's our passport. That says Air Force on it, and we're gonna show you know our Policiano badge, and we're just gonna hope we can get through this. You know, part of the film is about getting across borders without a passport because when you're homeless, it's very difficult to you know get that sort of thing. So. I think this is the border, people. jetty right now we're just you know out here doing our thing trying to get these dogs to come yeah got the city over here way over there yeah you know I mean? so you know I just thought I do a little interview here on the jetty. You know what I mean? Vasily to cop ball will burn for like four minutes. It's a pretty big flame. We got the moon behind us. See? Up there. In the water. Below. Royalties, royalties, royalties. That's what we're talking about, people. How you give to get, okay? You give whatever you can. 20 bucks, 10 bucks, 5 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever you can. 3 bucks, 6 bucks, 12 bucks, 25 bucks, 42 dollars, whatever you can. And that is accounted for and tracked, and you are going to receive, once the film is acquisitioned to a network, and from every film festival we went across America, there's 3,000 of them, you are going to share in the royalties with other contributors who have contributed to the film. Now let's say you do $100 and someone does $50. Then they're gonna get a less percentage because you did more. And if someone does more than you, they're gonna get a higher percentage because they did more. It's a fair divvy out system. We take 10% of the monies that are gonna come back. We divvy that up amongst our contributors. And you guys each, for the life of the product, for the rest of the time the movie is able to make money, you guys are going to receive residual income. That means monthly checks from the dividends of the film. That's what I want you guys to understand. You give to help this homeless project, this homeless film, homeless across America, homeless across Mexico, homeless across Venezuela, 
homeless across Africa, homeless to Jerusalem, homeless across the world. You help homeless where the heart leads. That's the name of the film. You help us and you get a piece of the pie. You get a piece of the pie. All you gotta do is just click, join us, go to the PayPal link, and all you have to do is just give whatever you can. 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever you can afford. If you can only afford $7, that's fine. You'll still get a royalty. If you can only afford $3 and you donate that to PayPal right now, you'll still get a royalty. Now, if you're rich, if you have a lot of money, and you have a little bit more to give, you'll get a royalty too if you give 100 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever you give. Okay, some people give 50 bucks. The average donation we get is about that. We have some that give more. We've got $200 donations, $300 donations. But right now, if you give, you're gonna get. If you give a little, that's all we're asking people. Five bucks, 15 bucks, 35 bucks, 55 bucks. You give, you're gonna get. And in the end, you're gonna get royalties. No one has ever done this in the filmmaking community. In indie film, we rely on contributors to help us while we're achieving our grants, their documentary film grants that help us continue. We don't just solely rely on our crowdfunding campaigns. However, to reward the contributors, you, the family, the people who contribute along the way, you're gonna get a piece of the profits. You are gonna get royalties. No one's ever offered you royalties in your life, probably. We are. What better way to secure the future for the family than owning a share in a major motion picture movie, Hollywood certified? It's about time that you, the public, the viewers, the subscribers, the ones who go to the movie theaters, the ones who pay the ticket sales, and the ones who ultimately help make this come to fruition, movies, cinema, it's about time you share in the wealth. Join us. Get some royalties. Help the family for the future. I'm out. Cut speeding. This is a rough cut of the feature film entitled Home is Where the Heart Leads. Produced and directed by Brandon James Miller. A Cherry Pictures film. This promotional material is utilized for grant funding. And we have many scenes many hours of footage, and this small amount of just experience we've showed you doesn't accumulate to all of the scenes that we have in the last two and a half years of this flight. Please, help us continue. Help us finish the film. Contribute now. And please, give us your grant. Hello? Hi, is there an issue? Hi, Mr. Miller. Good morning. Good morning. Please be careful with that. You're not going to break it, are you? Oh my god, they're back, people. They're back. Hello? I'm okay, how are you? Is there any reason why you're taking all that stuff? Yes, Mr. Miller, if you'd like to step outside, we'd like to talk to you. Well, you can talk to me in here. Well... What's going on? Mr. Miller, Mr. Miller? Yeah? This is the person that owns the property you're on. What do you mean? The property that you're on? This, on, this, this, this is this is the owner. This this property is not owned by anybody. Well, is there? Do I have to leave? Yes, you yes, do. Sir. Okay. Well, can I do it myself? Well, no, sir, because we've already asked you. You never. This yes. isn't the owner. You said you were the security. How are you saying you're the owner? Well, Miss, first I of all, I looked at the property. I have leave. evidence, and you uh, Mr. Officer. I have evidence okay, that this okay. property is not owned by. This isn't owned by their property. This property is not owned by anybody. Can you, can you come out here and talk to us before before any of this gets 
gets damaged. Uh, I can I can to talk her. to you, but no, I want. No, come out here. But I want to I want to take all this down myself. I don't understand. Nobody I'll owns the property. Open pro it and come out here and talk to us. Right. This, this won't get damaged. It's just okay. Out I will, but why can't we talk about it right here and then I open it and then I go? She feels more comfortable out here. Why? Because, because she's that's requesting the way it. Is, it. Is, okay. Who is she? What's her name? Identify her, please. She's a representative of the property owner. Or it has I thought you said that she is the property owner. Right, so no trespassing sign. There is, no, yeah, that's for that property line right here. Officer, I can show you a picture. This property is not owned by anybody. No, it goes to the edge. I have a picture. I uploaded it, so I would have evidence. This is not on the property. Come out here and speak to us. I'm speaking to you right now. I would prefer that you guys wouldn't throw my stuff. Please. Okay. Uh, this, this is not is private lot property, mister. I have a picture and evidence that shows that this is not owned by anybody. I can show you it right now. Yes, that fence line is the end of that. This is property is not owned. See people. Here they go, doing this shit again. 7.30 a.m. in the morning. That little woman does not own the property. I put the picture up. This property is not owned by anybody. And now they're sending the same police officers. They're just trying to get me out of here. I'm telling you because they are trying. They're corrupt. This is what happens. I have done nothing wrong. For some reason, they just keep berating me. You're watching Homeless Across America. I'm going to upload this clip by clip as it progresses. This is a true journey about a young man who became homeless, creating art, social injustice, humanitarian, and became countryless through invoking, stopping crimes against humanity and social injustice due to police corruption. The Black Lives Matter movement, all lives matter, and my experience as an artist brought me to this destiny path and you were watching oh is where the heart leads the journey of life